Hi, welcome to Lesson 40. You'll see that we took away all the colors and all the formatting things that we had before. We're back to a blank table because I want to show you some formatting tricks, some easy ways to format a table. Once you're in a table, there's this, uh, this is a trick that will save you a lot of time. Over here under the Design tab, there are a bunch of table styles. And if you click on this drop down arrow, you'll see it says more and they're not kidding. There's a whole bunch of pre-formatted ways to uh, design your table. They're under light, medium, and dark. And if you notice when I even thought about mousing over them, uh, Excel will show you what it's going to look like when you're done. And you can go through these and you can look at a variety of different styles from light, medium, to dark. And you can see exactly what they're going to look like when you're done. So when you find one you like, you say, well, I like that one. And if you change your mind, you can always just click here and see, even when I hover over it, I can get uh, a style that's close to what I like. Pretty fast and easy way to format a whole bunch of things. If you work for a company or you've got some kind of marketing department where there's, there's a brand and a color and everything looks the same way, and we really want all our public communications, our reports, or whatever to look the same way, you can customize this setting as well. All you do is come down to new table style at the bottom here and you can name it and and you can also even make it the default for this document and then look at all the things you can control the whole table what the first column stripe looks like what the second one does the first or second row stripe what does the last column look like what does the first column look like the header row the total row the first cell you can do all these kind of things and when you find something that's close what you can do is you can change the size of the stripe you can format it so that now you've got all the formatting things you're used to seeing, fill and border, all those kind of things are available for each of these different table elements, and you can customize it however you want. For me, I get a, a style that's close. And if you want to see all of them again, something like that. And then once I'm close, I can always adjust from there. Hope you found that helpful, quick and easy way to format tables. Thanks for watching.